morning beautiful people how are you doing i hope that you guys are having an amazing morning um today is actually a wednesday i am going to be working from home today and so i figured i would take you guys along on my work from home vlog um i originally was going to go into the office then i realized i literally have meetings starting really early and then they're back to back to back to back so i'm going to work from home so that way i can make sure that i'm in front of my computer for that very first meeting i don't want to take a chance at being in sitting in traffic or anything like that so we are going to work from home so for those that are new hello and welcome my name is Jeanne michelle um, i'm so excited to have you here this space is all about health and wellness and fitness and losing weight. I started this journey at 391 pounds. I have lost over 150 pounds so far. So I just want to show you guys that it's doable, that it's not as hard as it is. Like it's hard, I ain't gonna lie, but it's doable. But it's doable. Um, and for those that are returning, hello. I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you. So we are going to get ready um, for a workout. So um, before I do that, I want to show you guys today's outfit. This shirt is actually from Old Navy. Super cute because it kind of has like little, kind of comes up a little bit and then has the round section on the front and the back. And then these leggings, don't know if you guys can see those. Um, these leggings are actually really cheap, <laughs> but they're comfortable. They're from DDs, and I'm going to use them to work out today. So that is the goal for today. So yeah, um, but I love you guys. I'm super excited to have you guys along in today's vlog. I am using a little bit of a different camera, so you may see the quality change a little bit just because I'll probably go from my big camera that you see here now um to my smaller camera if i have to go out in the world or anything like that because this one is big it has a big old mic on it so you know i'm trying not to be too yeah no but anyway um let's go make some pre-workout and then let's get this workout in So I like to start off with the pre-workout with a little bit of creatine in there. And this is the one I'm currently using, the True You. And current pre-workout is the Body Tech Flashpoint. I actually picked this up from the vitamin shop. Um, this flavor, which is Rainbow Sherbet, which I thought would be really good. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, but... Um, I probably won't pick it up again just because I've had other flavors that were a little bit better. Pre-workout time. And while the pre-workout is kicking in, I think I'm going to do a little journaling. Hey, 
beautiful people. So while I am waiting on my pre-workout to kick in, um, I figured I'll talk to you guys really quickly um, about something that I think a lot of us struggle with in this fitness journey. And that is my biggest struggle is snacking. I am a snacker. <laughs> And um, I think that for me has been the biggest struggle throughout this journey because it's like, you know how to work out, you actually know what to eat, but it's those in between times when you want a little bit of something or it's late or you just have those cravings that you want to snack, you know? And so the, I think the things, the things that are important to think about when you're snacking is, okay, is this truly about stopping the snacking? Like, do I have to just cut everything out, stop snacking, and that's it? I didn't do that because I knew personally that if I just cold turkey just stop snacking on chips, because for me, it's salty. I can tell you guys that right now. Like, I like salty chips, like, you know, french fries. Like, <laughs> I like the salty stuff, not the sweet necessarily. So... Um, I knew that if I just cut that out, that I would end up buying a bag of chips and finishing the entire bag of chips. I didn't want that. So what I personally did was I went out and I started to find alternatives to the things that I really enjoyed. So when it comes down to chips, for example, I found like those veggie sticks. Um, those are really good. You get a lot for the amount of calories and things that you would normally get. So like if you only get 12 chips, for example, with the veggies, sticks you would get like 30 or something like that like you know like it's it's a significant difference so you can really see the the volume and that's I think what it's about is because you want to feel sat satiated when you're eating these things and so I think if we can find things that are alternatives that are a little bit healthier I think it would be better so like for me popcorn has become an alternative for me rice cakes um uh like the veggie sticks I'm also always looking for um chips that are more like plantain based or that are baked instead of fried and like you know just finding those little things but then also finding things that are maybe just as good so for example the thing that I love to snack on now is hummus with cucumbers crackers and broccoli like that because I get the crunch from the cucumbers and the broccoli and the um, the crackers the hummus has that earthy taste I'm getting like all the things that I would want in that area so I think it's really just about finding things that you can start to substitute for that and I think that's that, that's what's helped me along this journey and I'm not perfect I'm not I'm not gonna lie um, another thing that I like to snack on is things that are probably higher in protein so turkey and this may sound really weird but turkey pepperoni I don't know why I think it's the saltiness of it it's the fact that it's meat so it satiates me it's the fact that i can have like 17 pieces of pepperoni for like 70 calories um that's another thing i snack on i also like um string cheese but i try and get the low um the low fat ones which are normally around 50 calories so just finding those things that you can replace for the unhealthy snacks replace them with something that's a little bit healthier so anyway that's all I had to say. I am going to get ready for this workout, finish my pre-workout, and then we out.
beautiful people so workout is done as you can probably tell a little bit um today was a full body session felt really good getting it in um now it is time to get dressed kind of get the day started i do want to make a little breakfast but um before i actually make breakfast i am going to have a protein drink so that way i can have my protein while i'm getting dressed and then i'm going to make breakfast and i'm probably going to keep it simple i have some turkey bacon in there we'll see what else we got i may make some oatmeal i don't know we'll see we'll see what we have for breakfast but we're going to do that but right now i'm going to straighten up my little workout area and then we're gonna get this day started y'all so thank you for working out with your girl let's do this hello beautiful people so it is hours later. It is 2.28. Um, it has been a very busy work day. And I did grab, well, it was more of a snack, but I'll say lunch. Um, but I forgot to record it on the big camera. So I'm going to throw in my reel that I did right now. So you guys can check it out. So yeah, so I made a cucumber um, tuna boat. It was really good, like it was so tasty. I don't even know if that's enough light, but anyway, um, I'm about to jump into a meeting. 
um, my sixth. I think, that this, think this is my sixth meeting of the day. Like, how can you get work done if you're in constant meetings? But anyway, um, I'm about to hop into this meeting and then I think we'll just finish out the work day with a few things that I know I want to get done before um, the end of the day. And then I don't know what we'll do. We'll see. But I just I was trying to be a much better vlogger from working from home. But it's hard when you are super busy. So it's 2 30. It's time for me to clock into this meeting. So let's do that. Just in case. in regards to that because a lot of that needed to be hi beautiful people it is the end of my work day and i am happy for it today was a very busy day actually busier than i had expected it to be i was not expecting my day to be as busy as it was um but i'm also glad that i actually worked from home because i think i was able to focus and get a lot more done versus being in the office and having like the distractions and things like that so yeah we did that but really quickly i wanted to um kind of touch base on what we were talking about earlier in regards to snacking and things like that before i let you guys go because i actually i wrote some notes y'all <laughs> um but i wanted to tell you just like um kind of going back to what i was saying earlier about like you know finding those substitutions and things like that but another thing that i found that worked really really well for me is drinking more water because i noticed that a lot of times when i was snacking i wasn't necessarily hungry your body is dehydrated and we normally take that in as feeling like as as being hungry when we're actually dehydrated so i noticed that if i am staying hydrated if i'm drinking um, a nice amount of water i notice that i'm snacking a lot less so i think that is a truly truly important like tip to take because not only is water good but just flushing your body is good we're 70 percent water so it's good to make sure we are putting that back into our system things like that but it also is really great to help curb that appetite when you are thinking of snacking and then and then finally the thing is I want you to remember we are all a work in progress so you know don't beat yourself up if you made a mistake today or if you made a mistake a week ago and you still got it on your mind you're wondering if that's why you gained the one pound that you did last week like don't do that to yourself we are a work in progress and so with that just know we're going to have our days where we're going to snack we're going to have our days where we're not going to work out we're going to have our days where we you know drink alcohol or eat candy or do the things that we're probably not supposed to do but that's okay you can do those things the thing about that is just doing it in moderation instead of doing it every day like don't have mcdonald's every day don't drink alcohol every day but like on the weekends if you have a little time like do it in moderation have in have make it be a part of your life in a way where it adds to your life and is not the thing that kind of takes life away from you, you know because a lot of times when we overeat or we drink excessively or anything like that i feel like that's taking life away from us but when we are able to enhance it with those things enhance it with good food enhance it with a good quality wine and things like that then it enhances life so think of think of it like that when you're going about it but remember that you are a work in progress anyway i am going to go because it is around almost six o'clock I want to take the rest of the evening. I want to read. I want to journal, um, which I'm probably not going to do because I need to edit and I need to write a blog post. And I have signed up for a task that I am super excited about, but also so scared. 
that. <laughs> um, but I will tell you guys a little bit more about that in the future when every thought, all the details are worked out. But it is something that I kind of have to start working on now. But I love you guys. I hope you guys are have an amazing, beautiful day. And as usual, y'all know what it is. I will be back. I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye.